Hi, I'm Sandy Curtin, and I'm going to talk to you now about clinical trials. Once the diagnosis of MDS has been established, you will meet with your oncology provider to discuss the diagnosis, prognosis, available treatment options, and the treatment recommended for you, if any. Understanding the goals of treatment, how treatment is selected, and what the effects of the treatment might be for you will help you to make decisions about your treatment plan, prepare for the treatment, and plan your daily activities. There are currently three primary options for treatment of MDS, observation, supportive care, and disease-modifying treatments. Observation may be an option for you if you have lower risk MDS and do not require blood transfusions. Supportive care includes things like blood transfusions, antibiotics, and the administration of growth factors. Observation and supportive care strategies do not change the underlying abnormalities that cause MDS. So if you have higher risk MDS, you become transfusion dependent, or you develop increasing blasts or progressive cytopenias, a disease-modifying treatment will likely be recommended. There are currently only three disease-modifying agents commercially available for the treatment of MDS. These include azacitidine, decitabine, and lenalidomide. You can learn more about each of these treatments and other strategies, including bone marrow transplants, in Chapter 2 of the Building Blocks of Hope booklet called Seeking Treatment. Each of the currently available treatments for MDS was developed as a result of clinical trials. Clinical trials offer an option for treatment under the guidance of a research protocol. There are several important benefits of clinical trials. They are critical to developing new treatments for MDS and other diseases and may offer treatment options that are not, not otherwise available to you. Clinical trials help to improve diagnostic techniques and identify new targets for treatment. For example, data collected during clinical trials was used to refine the International Prognostic Scoring System, or IPSS, now known as the Revised IPSS, or IPSSR. The IPSSR has been developed by a group of international MDS experts representing 11 countries and more than 7,000 patients. These data have been used to estimate life expectancy, or survival, for a patient newly diagnosed with MDS who has not yet been treated, and, the, and estimate the risk of developing acute myelogenous leukemia, or AML. The IPSSR risk category is determined using results from the bone marrow biopsy and aspirate, cytogenetics, and the peripheral blood, and provides an estimate of the severity of your MDS. The IPSS, or IPSSR risk category, plays an important role in guiding treatment recommendations. Many clinical trials study ways to improve the side effects of treatment and offer a way to research quality of life while studying a disease or the treatment of disease. Clinical trials fall into one of four phases. Phase one trials are the first time a drug is used in humans. The trial is designed to determine dosage, route of administration, either oral, intravenous, or by an injection, for instance, and schedule of administration, how many times a day or week. In this phase, researchers also begin to determine the drug's safety. The phase one trial is normally conducted in healthy adults and enrolls only a small number of people, sometimes 50 to 30. In phase two trials, patients with the disease receive the drug at dose levels determined in the earlier phase. The phase two trial begins to determine the effectiveness of the drug and provides more information about its safety. Phase two trials usually include less than 100 people. In a phase three trial, the drug is tested alone or against an approved standard drug. The typical phase three trial enrolls a large number of patients, a hundred to thousands. If it is a comparison trial, patients may be randomly assigned to receive either the new drug or the standard intervention. Phase four trials are with drugs that are already approved by the FDA and available to the public. These undergo continued evaluation in a large number of patients, several hundred to several thousand. Phase four trial designation is rare. Some trials, screening trials and studies evaluating supportive care or prevention are not conducted in phases. In this type of trial, a group following a certain strategy to combat disease, such as a detection method or a behavioral change, is compared to a group in a control setting. Each clinical trial has specific criteria for participation. These criteria ensure the specific research goals of the trial and the patient safety criteria are being met. 
You will be screened for the trial before being enrolled to be sure these criteria are met. And additional testing will be conducted after you have signed the consent form for the trial. In some cases, after these tests are obtained, a patient not, may not meet the criteria for the trial and cannot proceed to treatment. An expanding number of experimental or investigational drugs are being evaluated for their potential use in treating MDS. Many trials are designed to find new targets in the MDS clone or the bone marrow microenvironment. Other trials are investigating ways to combine currently available treatments with other novel agents. By using combinations of drugs that act at more than one target site, it is hoped that a more effective treatment than any one of the agents being used alone will be produced. Participation in a clinical trial may offer you a treatment option that would otherwise not be available to you. You can learn more about clinical trials, currently available trials, at the MDS Centers of Excellence, which provide access to clinical trials by visiting the MDS Foundation website or in Chapter 2 of the Building Blocks of Hope booklet, which provides a number of online resources. The website for all registered trials in the United States and certain global regions is www.clinicaltrials.gov. Ask your provider if there are clinical trials that might be an option for you. Thank you.